Well, Jerome, some big announcements down here at the Wanderers Shed today. Yeah, we're pretty excited. We're uh, pretty happy with the process we've gone through. Um, excited to have Shannon on board. I think the club has been waiting for a while for Shannon to put his hat in the ring. And we're equally excited to have Dave back in the uh, hot seat for the Women's Premier League side. Dave was uh, the last coach to take our women's side to their first finals campaign, our first grand final appearance, sorry. So we're really excited to see him back and have him on board. Did you get many applicants for the roles? Yeah, we had about four applicants. Uh, they were all really good applicants. The last two were line ball. It was really hard to split. Uh, we engaged an independent uh, coaching uh, panel, so led by Tony Fuller, Russell Jeffrey, and Andrew Hodges. So really great experience and CVs that speak for themselves. So when they came back with Shannon, we felt we were in safe hands and that their judgment was the right one. What do you see as the priorities for the Wanderers this season? Uh, scrubber put in a lot of great work to our juniors so we want to see that continue to, to be developed we want to see our junior our local boys being given more time out there so another 20 games under their belt I think we'll see a big difference um, we want to see our women climb back up the ladder so Dave's got a really great plan for those for the ladies to be competitive and to make finals again so and then we just want to focus on our juniors making sure they're having fun they're enjoying their footy a lot of our juniors made finals last year, a couple of won uh, their grand finals, so we want to see them just having fun and getting out in the park and uh, playing good footy. It'll be here before we know it. Thanks, Jerome, and all the best for the upcoming season. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Shannon, you've been announced as the Wanderers Premier League coach for the next two seasons. Congratulations, and are you excited about the role? Yeah, obviously, I have a really young list coming through, so... Um, yeah, really excited. Um, we're still a couple of months off starting, but um, yeah, really excited with the list and um, the young guys and the talent there. So hopefully you don't lose a couple to the draft, but um, yeah, a good group to have. You've been a player for the past few seasons uh, after your AFL career finished. What made you want to apply for the role? Um, I've sort of put it off till the time's right and uh, with uh, work and business I just sort of left it a little bit. Uh, it wasn't, wasn't right the right time to, to get into coaching. Um, uh, the job takes a lot of effort and a lot of time and I've got a young family as well so um, I held off on the, on the first two opportunities and uh, now I feel the time's right. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. How would you describe your coaching style and, and what do you want to bring to the club? Um, I think um, I think I'd, I'd want to encourage a bit of flair from our players. Um, uh, probably something a bit similar to Tiwi and, and and the style that Wanderers are known for as well. I guess some uh, some great leadership, I think, and um, and try to build the leaders around around me and those already within the club, and help them to be better leaders as well. So, what's your immediate priority now that you've taken on the role? Immediate priority, um, probably to work out the list and see um, exactly what we need um, and make some really important decisions before the season starts. Um, I think um, if you can get off to a really good start with the recruiting, um, you know, you can set yourself up for a good season. Well, speaking of recruiting, you've obviously got strong family ties to the club and lots of motlops running around and lots of AFL contacts. Will we see any big names lining up in the Muck Mucks jumper or is there anyone on your wish list? Uh, not really. Look, I'm, I'm not. Um, I'm not chasing AFL players that have finished AFL. I'm just looking for people that want to be at our footy club, and people that you know, um, yeah, want to have a crack while they're here. Um, you know, I'm not really sold on the you know finishing AFL players, ex AFL players. Um, yeah, but in saying that, it's horses for courses. If we've got a, a good one that still loves his footy and he's coming out of AFL and he's still putting his heart and soul into it, yeah, I'd love to have him. You had so many juniors blooded last season. Will you continue uh, that this season? Yeah, definitely. It's it's all about getting uh, those those kids some more game time. Um, yeah, and, and really bringing them along as quick as we can, and also introducing some, um, I guess, some a, a little bit of new blood as well. Well, tell us when and where pre-season's going to start. Uh, look, I've only just got um, told I've got the job today, so um, look, we'll leave it on up to the uh, Wanderers Facebook page to give all that information out. Uh, and, you know, at some stage I'll make contact with players as well, to you know, the senior players, to get them out. Well, congratulations again, Shan, and all the best for the upcoming season. No worries. Thank you, Liz. <laughs> well, it's a case of welcome back, Dave, as you've been announced as the Wanderers Women's Premier League coach for the next two seasons. Are you excited to be back? Yeah, look, I'm looking forward to it very much. Um, uh, so, 
it is a bit of case of deja vu. Um, so we'll start building again and see where we go. I think um, you know, Rob McLean stepped in uh, two years ago and he's done a really good job setting some um, cultural standards there. So we really hope to work on that. You took Wanderers to their first ever women's grand final back in the 2015-16 season. Have you got your eye on finals again or is it just one step at a time? I think I think with any football up here you have um, the players move around and change a fair bit and I think it's really just a matter of just building and going and you know if you give it your best shot every week and you get the training then results happen so we'll just be focusing on that. And what else are your immediate priorities as you've taken over? Oh, look, I think just um, you know contacting the ladies and sort of getting in place a leadership sort of team and working out where we want to go and what our, our sort of standards are going to be and um, yeah, move on from there. Have you worked out when and where pre season's going to start? Uh, look, not at this stage, but it'll be around August sometime and we'll make that announcement when it's um, necessary. Awesome. Well, congratulations again and all the best for the upcoming season. No worries. Thank you very much.